So here we see the thoracic cage. We've got the left clavicle and the right clavicle. The humerus, of course, here. And the scapula behind. And the flat bone in the centre of the chest is the sternum. And we count the ribs from the top. So this first curly rib is rib number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And we notice that these first ten ribs are connected to the sternum via costal cartilage. So the bone is in white and this is the cartilage in this more transparent, translucent plastic. And I can show you that on this model. This demonstrates the sternum with the costal cartilages. So the first ten ribs are attached to the sternum, but in addition there's an eleventh and a twelfth rib, making twelve pairs. So the left lung is in this area, the right lung is in this area, and the heart is round about where my fist is there, in the centre and towards the left of the thoracic cavity. And what I'm going to do now is turn this skeleton around and we'll have a look at it from the back. So here we can see the vertebrae. These first seven are the cervical vertebrae. And we call those C vertebrae. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And when you bend over and put your head down... There's a prominent vertebrae you can sometimes feel at the back of your neck. That is C7. Then the next 12 vertebrae are the thoracic vertebrae that form the back of the thoracic cavity. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That means that's the first thoracic vertebrae there. That is T1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 8, 9, 10, 11. So that is the 12th thoracic vertebrae just there. And after that we have the 5 lumbar. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But if we look back up to the thoracic cavity, we can see the first rib there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and then these two ribs here 11 and 12 because they're not connected to the costal cartilage are sometimes called the floating ribs they're not really floating but that's often what they're called and of course the flat bones here this is the right scapula on that side and the left scapula on that side so there we see the bones that comprise the bony thoracic cage. The bones are facilitating movement, of course, because the intercostal muscles lie between the ribs. Lie between the ribs. And as well as that, the bones are protecting the delicate organs underneath, such as the heart and the lungs. So the thoracic cage completely surrounding the heart and the lungs, facilitating movement of the chest wall and protecting the underlying structures.